The evolution of the Ohio State offense continues. Urban Meyer said on Monday that they are working on the two-back set with Mike Weber and J.K. Dobbins. We did not see it against Rutgers, but we did see the return of Mike Weber. So Tim Bielek, Bill Landis, Doug Maurice. How many snaps, if Ohio State has 70 offensive snaps on Saturday against Maryland, how many should include J.K. Dobbins and Mike Weber in the backfield together? All of them? I don't know. I, I, that's what I would do. I don't get paid $6 million a year to coach a football team. Um, I don't know. Even half kind of seems too high. I would say like between 15 and 20 because I think it is, it's it's kind of a specialty package, and we saw it last year. They had two capable running backs last year, Curtis Samuel and Mike Weber, and they weren't doing it every every play. It might have been 10, 10 or so snaps a game. Um, but I do want to see it. I want them to use it because I think it will be really effective, um, especially when they get into these games down the stretch where even if the passing game is improved, they're still not going to be able to throw the ball all over against Penn State um, and Michigan. So you need to get Urban Meyer called or said that Weber and Dobbins are among the best 11 offensive players. Get your best 11 on the field. Um, but I would say like 20. Tim, you going higher or lower than 20? Uh, I'll say slightly higher. I was going to say as many as 25. But I also think you have to experiment with the fact that you could use that as decoys. Because if you're going to put two good running backs in the backfield with JT Barrett, all of a sudden that opens up the passing game and you have guys like Johnny Dixon and Ben Victor who played really well against Rutgers running free down the field. You can do a lot of things with those two together. And seeing those two guys together I think is what we kind of envisioned when we saw J.K. Dobbins have his breakout performance against Indiana. Now that Weber looks healthier than he has at any point this season, hopefully that continues for his sake, that we see those two together. And with those two together, with Barrett in that in that shotgun together, there's almost endless possibilities. I like the idea of the decoy thing I'm envisioning. I'm JT. Look, I get to be J.T. Barrett in this video. You'll be Weber. You're older. You want to be Weber, Weber or Dobbins? Uh, which one's slower? <laughs> All right. So you're Dobbins and you're Weber. I'm JT Barrett. And then you know what I want to see? I want to see Paris Campbell running right here. I want to see that whole defense suck up. Is it he going to run? Is he going to run? Am I going to run? Is this guy going to get a jet sweep? Boop. Yeah. I do a lot of that. Here's the thing I have a question about, though. Last year, I loved when Mike Weber and Curtis Samuel were on the field together. It made me warm. <laughs> did they ever hand it to Mike Weber and have Curtis Samuel block? Or did they always hand it to Curtis Samuel and have Mike Weber block? Always handed it to Curtis Samuel and had Mike Weber block. I don't know if J.K. Dobbins can block. I feel like I've seen him miss a couple blocks. I know Mike Weber can block. The The part of why we like it is because Mike Weber secretly is actually a, a hell of a fullback. Yeah. So until Dobbins can prove he can block like Weber, that's not going to be as effective as you think because pretty much I think you're going to give it to Dobbins, yeah. your Dobbins, and have Weber block. So I'm going 10. I loved it. I'm going 10 until J.K. comes along a little bit because I still like the idea of fresh, fresh, fresh. You have a fresh tailback in there all the time when you have one or the other, and I think they're not going to be close to 20 or 25 on Saturday. A real quick question. If Demario McCall continues to come back in health and then he is maybe your third tailback, do you feel a little bit better about that? Yeah, I would feel a little bit better about that. But Kevin Wilson made the point earlier in the year they like to put two H-backs on the field with Campbell and K.J. Hill, but then that wears them out. So I think it's, it's a real issue. If you have three strong tailbacks, that's a different situation. At the moment, we know they have two. I don't think you have to play them together a ton. That's J.K. Dobbins. This is Mike Weber. I'm J.T. Barrett, and someday we'll get ourselves a Paris Campbell. Thanks for watching on Cleveland.com.